steering bolt, follow this curve up, follow it up. See this bolt, you went too far. Just above this little bolt right here is your drain fill bolt. This is a 24. Brand new. Her thing still has all the markings on it, every single bolt. This car is still fairly new, so just know that when you go to a dealership, you pick up the fluid, be sure that it's going to be this right here, Gear Oil LV 75W. So GL4 75W is your for this car's fluid for the GR Corolla. Uh, it doesn't have to be circuit edition. You could get it for the core. And yeah, check it out. Forge carbon hood roof. Obviously got the hood scoops with the circuit edition. The GR4 on the <sighs> And yeah. So all I did was crack the the drain bolt. Let some fluid come out because I don't want this shit coming all over my garage. Not my garage, my driveway. Let some of that fluid come out controlled. Right? So you slowly let that bolt out. Little by little. It's only two liters or two quarts, depending where you are. All I did was put a mat, pan, jack stands, jack, two ramps from from Harbor Freight. You don't need to go crazy. Also, that's a Daytona jack. So these two front ramps will hold up to 13,000 pounds combined. So I figured, why not get that? I got it on sale during. I think it was Black Friday or Father's Day. So yeah. You guys don't need to go all out and buy the most expensive stuff. Super quick. Super easy. Simple as this. 24 bolt. 24 millimeter. 23 millimeter. Transfer case is a 10 hex millimeter. The bolt up top is a 23 millimeter. Or if you don't depending on where you're at 15 16 pretty similar it also do the job for this you only need half quart for rear differential which i also just did recently only needs 0 0.45 quarts so that's like almost half quart and those cans i already threw away but that job's pretty simple also all i ended up doing so this is a gear wrench 10 millimeter hex right here this bolt it's pretty fucking handy. Use it for the transfer case. Which you can see right here. As you can see, fits perfectly. You could also use the Allen key depending what you got. Bought this off Amazon for like 10 bucks. So free shipping next day. Same thing with the rear differential. Both the rear diff and transfer case use the same bolt. I'll take you guys around. Let me just pause this and I'm probably gonna pop this bolt off now because yeah. So once you take the full ball towel, you'll see that this shit just comes out kind of messy. Got this pad, but you can see a little bit got everywhere. So let's pick up some brake fluid cleaner, you know, depending how meticulous you want to be. You could clean up after yourself. So let me go around and show you guys. So to each their own, you know, I can't really tell you one method. But I can't tell you what I did, it's just that. Then I had to fidget my socket wrench in here and I had to like play with this because you got, check this out. You got your exhaust in the way. Some uh, support arms. Another, what is this? Uh, another control arm. Whatever, I'm not gonna get all technical with the verbiage. So yeah, 10 mil up there. This one, this one fucking sucks. I hate to admit it, but it does. Super difficult to get to. Check that out. Also, 10 millimeter hex. That's your fill. This is. A, you could use this one. Don't recommend it. So I use the top one. Why? Because as soon as you start filling this bottom one, obviously you're at the bottom, so it's gonna spill. That's why I use the top. And you already know. Once you fill it, you fill it till it starts leaking out fluids. So, drain bolt. 10 hex millimeter. There you go. It's honestly not too hard. Not that difficult. Anyways, 
I digress. This is the tool I'm using to refill my transmission and rear differentials. 1.5 liter syringe pump, fluid pump. There you go. It's called the Swan Leg. Also bought it off Amazon. Pretty cheap. Check this out. Pretty cool little invention. So all I gotta do is pop these cans open, fill this up, and yeah, don't have to worry about so so cool why did i purchase it for this reason i'm a diy mechanic i don't got a shop i don't got pumps this is what i got and it works pretty good so where do i have this right now how am i doing this it's pushing it with my stomach it comes with this handle fluid's going up filling up the trans it's that simple it's a pretty legit fucking tool and again pushing against my, my hip right here Working my way in. Am I worried about those air bubbles? Not really. Is it dripping? Nope. Check out that connection. Comes with an adapter. Super legit. Yeah, I'll come back and check. So also, do remember that this car is fairly new. So when you go to dealers, you go to your AutoZone, Pet Boys, wherever the hell, your local auto shop, just know that Everyone's gonna question you. Everyone's gonna ask, what do you mean you need GL 475 and not 75W85 like every other Corolla? This is not a regular Corolla. This is the GR Corolla. It's different. Can they use the same fluids? Yes. Do you want to double, triple check? Yes. So look, this is the fill plug. When it came out, haven't wiped it yet. Came out pretty clean. Why? Because I'm a fucking nut and I do my fluids early. Do you guys have to? No. What's recommended at 30,000 miles, but I'm not gonna do that. And all you who drive Corolla, GR Corollas also know you're not gonna do that. Same for the transfer case, and same for the rear diff. We're, we're not gonna wait till factory spec at 30,000 miles. And if you are, then hey, you know what? That's your decision, whatever. That's how you feel about it. To each their own. And yeah, as you can see, it's done draining. Is your drain plug does not come with instructions or read your the manual thing so yeah just know that these cars are brand new this only had about 10,000 miles on it I didn't want to wait any longer I recommend that you guys don't either don't do that 30,000 mile and also keep note that like I said, these cars are pretty new. When you go to these dealers and you tell them that you know what fluids you need, they're gonna question you. So what do I recommend with crusher washers? Is snug it up. Look at that bolt, still looks pretty uncrushed. So all I did was put this on a breaker bar, set my foot pounds of 35 there you go and crush it a little bit snug it down you know don't overdo it obviously don't fucking armstrong this shit and break it make it snug give it like another quarter turn then torque it down to 35 foot pounds because you do want to crush that wash or what else i recommend is grab your tool fucking Give this bolt a little little smack or two, you know. Flip your tool over, smack it, crush it a little bit, and torque it down. Make sure that crusher washer is actually crushed. And yeah, get that satisfying click. There you go. Check it twice. Why not? This is your ride, it's your baby. Make sure you got it all snugged up and it's all good to go. So, like I've been saying, you know, clean up your area. Keep your car looking clean. Here's the transfer case. There's your fill bolt. That's a 23, 10 millimeter hex. 23 millimeter for the drain plug and the transmission. And then the other fill plug up there is a 24. Just like I've been saying, when you go to dealers and you go ask for your fluids, they're gonna look at you and be like, what do you mean you need this? Your car needs this fluid. 75W85. You only need one quart for the transfer case. And for your rear diff, the 75W85, not 
for your transmission. Your transmission is a GL475W. That's all it's called. GL475W. That's for your transmission. When you go up to these shops, everyone's going to look at you and be like, there's nothing available for your car. It's too new. Just tell them, check the inventory. I gave you guys the... Actually, I didn't give you guys the part number. But that's super simple to find. Just look in your user's manual. Yeah. Keep your car clean. Keep her running. So the next thing for me in this project, not really a project, but where to drain your radiator. Transmission, transmission fill bolt. Where to drain your radiator. This is for your coolant. So that's gonna be next. Why am I doing this shit all super early with only 10,000 miles on this car? Because you want your car to run forever. That's why. Here's your oil filter number. Hopefully, this is going to help someone out there. Because I know I've been looking for a video like this and been yet to see one. So, here you guys go. You should probably mark these. You don't have to. I do. But, yeah. This is your boy, GR Sally. I'm up. One more thing. Not everyone has to do it. I keep track of my oil and my transmission. As you can see, I use the B as my transmission. Here you guys go, there's my mileage. This is for my oil. This is now because I reset my... Only reason why I had that 96 miles on this B was because that's when I did my rear diff and my transfer case. So, now that I've done my transmission, all I gotta do is just add 100, so I'll do that. I think the next 20,000, 15,000 miles, you guys don't have to be as fucking nutty as me. And do your oil change super early. That's just me. Where do you go to reset that? Hold your okay. You get that options menu. Go to your settings. Down to vehicle settings. Hold for three seconds. Schedule maintenance. Push to reset. Simple as that. Here you guys go. I'm just gonna change this back to what I had it as. There it is. There it is.